love it. They can abuse and beat up everybody, and nobody can stop them. Nobody can stop them. They're having their way with America. They want our guns. And if you're not with them, cops and military, ah, then you will declare that you're with the Republic now. And don't tell me that I'm a weirdo because I'm upset about this, and I should only go get upset about my favorite football team winning or losing. Listen, I know what tyranny means. I know the bankers are putting poison in our food and water. I know the bankers have stolen $8.5 trillion. I know we're under War Powers Act. I know they're hurting us. I know they're carrying out New World Order. I know they've staged those terror attacks. You know what it's like to go up to this and go out every day and go past the peer pressure and come out day one and say, 9-11 was an inside job and lose most of the radio stations I was on. You know what it's like to go to sleep every night knowing you work for a bunch of psychotic killers and you bastards are probably going to end up killing me one day. You know what it's like knowing you've ruined my life. You know what it's like, you sons of bitches. I'm tired of your crap. You mean those hoaxes, those psyops that have been taking place over the last few years? You little piece of garbage. This guy has a a small man's complex as well. This guy's about what, five foot two? Give me a break. It's not very nice to make fun of senior citizens who happen to be unfortunately going senile, but in Nancy Pelosi's case, she's not really a person. Instead, this is more of just a corpse that the Democrats keep propping up on podiums and rolling out on television in order to connect the zombie viewers. Here's Skeletor on MSNBC questioning President Trump's mental health. All these little hidden Easter eggs with this piece of garbage Mark, slice and dice. This guy's a slime ball. Can't stand this guy. Or you're just a piece of garbage partaking in this fraud, this treason in front of the whole world.